Hello and welcome back. This is your Florida One Minute Real Estate Update. My name is Jose Gabriel. I'm a licensed real estate broker and instructor here in Florida. Let's get started. Okay, so here we're looking at April's report, which came out Thursday of last week. Uh, today's uh, Monday, May the 25th, so it's about four days old. So the first thing we're going to look at is the first column, which is year-over-year year, uh, changes in the percentage of number of transactions. So here in April, we can see that it's already the uh, the COVID situation has definitely impacted the market. We're talking about significant drops. Um, last month, the biggest drop was 9.7% for single family homes in Miami-Dade County. And as you can see here, uh, Dade condo towns, it's uh, townhouses, it's almost 50%, 47.9% uh, drop, single family 31. Now, this is not really surprising. We knew that the, the COVID situation was going to uh, seriously impact the number of transactions. So uh, that's not that much of a surprise. Now, uh, if we take a look at though the medium sales price year over year of the properties uh, in the same, the three counties, uh, you know, condos and single family, we see that there really is not uh, any kind of significant drop in prices. There, There is no uh, drop in prices. And if we look at Orange, uh, or, yeah, Orange County, specifically condos, look at that whopping 25%, 25 uh, percent, 25.8% increase in year over year but if we look at the number of uh, months worth of inventory especially for Orange County we can see why there is no inventory uh, very little inventory so uh, with the few buyers that are out there or reduced buyers there's still going to be competition for those uh, units available for sale just because there's not very many of them and there is a lot of demand uh, in Central Florida right now so even with the COVID situation the prices continue to go up in Dade, Broward and Orange County now we'll have to wait and see if uh, how you know how strong that uh, price hold it currently is. Now, if we look at the number of cash transactions, uh, again, uh, huge drops in the number of cash transactions. Uh, the biggest drop last month was in single family Orange County, and that was 2.6% uh, year over year drop in cash uh, transactions. But look at this, uh, Dade uh, condos at 63%, single family 57%. Condos in Broward, 49%, 64 This is like massive uh, drops in, in cash. Now, there's a lot of variables for this, a lot of reasons for it. Uh, the stock market, there's a lot of volatility in the stock market as well. Some investors also have money in the stock market. So right now, they're just feeling that ups and downs in the stock market. Um, and no one is really exactly sure where uh, the real estate market is going to end up. Um, just the last week, almost every single Single day, I've been reading one or two articles that say it's going to crash really bad, and one or two saying no, it's going to bounce right back, and it's going to be a, a huge uh, gains because uh, there's a lot of uh, entities out there with a lot of capital. So. Um, who knows? Uh, the forbearance is going to play an impact. The uh, unemployment situation is going to play an impact. No one really knows. And then what's uh, going to impact next month's or, or May's report, obviously, is the number of pending sales. Because if you have a huge drop in pending sales, well, then you can't have closings. Uh, and that's exactly what we're looking at. But again, this is not a big surprise. Well, we knew it was going to have an impact. So the question now is, for how long is this impact going to be? And at what point, if, uh, it, you know, if at all, the prices are going to drop? We're going to just have to wait and see. My personal guess, uh, and I guess it's just as good as yours, that we're probably not going to see a major impact for a couple of months. Then we will see an impact, but it won't be like 2008 where, you know, 2007, 2008, where things dropped like 50%. Um, but it'll it'll have an impact for sure. It has to. with, uh, And then we don't even know if the COVID situation comes back or not. If it doesn't, uh, or if it, it's very mild, then it's not going to be a significant impact. Then uh, we might see a small percentage hit, and then we'll be right back uh, where we were. Uh, there's very little construction, very little inventory, so that kind of works in keeping the prices up. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found the information useful. If you have any other real estate questions, please uh, reach out to me. And if you have a need for real estate services in Central Florida or South Florida, we're here. Please give us a call. Take care.